Jupiter Media presents Educast, telecasting global opportunities. Today we have very special guest, uh, Mr. Jun Kyu. He's uh, representing Boxhill Institute and um, uh, time and again I'm visiting there in Boxhill. He, uh, in, uh, uh, he's like, uh, I feel that Boxhill is my next uh, home in Melbourne. We, we like uh, cover different um, uh, educational base uh, report, documentary and talk with a student. And um, uh, to some extent, we are like giving more of a value to the Boxel Institute being a government institution. And in our different journey program, we are like uh, being a part of um, it. So uh, let's welcome uh, John. John, you are welcome on our show. Thank you. And uh, uh, certainly 2020 is a different year. Uh, so uh, I, I virtual hello and greeting from uh, uh, winter Melbourne, uh, but it's a warm greeting from winter Melbourne uh, to all our listeners and, uh, 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 you know, clients uh, here at uh, this show. Um, okay. So I, 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 as you know, I, I should have been visiting Nepal, as mm -hmm. you know that I, I love the beautiful country uh, and also I love the nice people over there. Um, mm -hmm. But that due to the obvious reasons as you all know uh, with yeah. the pandemic i do wish everyone uh, good health and also keep it safe so, okay hello from melbourne okay especially you are quite familiar face uh, to nepali that uh, rai limbu are looking like um, aryan and uh, that mean uh, like you are quite familiar in local market here in nepal and representing nepali student local guards in theory in melbourne as well in this case, uh, would you please give some information about Boxel Institute, um, uh, uh, Boxel Institute of Techn uh, uh, Institute, which is like uh, focusing on vocational, uh, professional, and different entities? Yes, certainly. Uh, I think uh, you know, as uh, uh, some of you may have heard of already, but I'll keep this introduction very brief. So, Boxel Institute. <clears throat> Uh, it's our name, and uh, we were established since uh, 1924. And we mm -hmm. are a government funded uh, education provider, plus uh, both vocational education training, uh, so known as VET, as well as higher education, uh, which are known uh, in, um, involved with degrees, so uh, bachelor degree and master's degrees. Uh, so at the Boston Institute, we have um, three campuses in Melbourne, one in the CBD, one in Box Hill, and one in Lilydale, which are a little bit further east Melbourne. Um, and also that we have uh, more than 300 programs uh, available. However, for international students, we have a very handful uh, selected programs uh, which is over 60 programs that are, will be available for international students. And in terms of, uh, um, you know, how we, uh, in this particular time, I just want to stress at the Boston Institute that uh, we have students at heart and uh, we are here to support our uh, students, no matter they are domestic students or international students. So that's our principle we keep um, you know, for every staff members and for everything we do that uh, we have students at the heart. Okay, especially nowadays, like uh, um, uh, in Australia, it's gonna be uh, normal nowadays and they, they are starting their life. Uh, so what sort of the problems were there at the time of the pandemic uh, coronavirus and how Boxel Institute act as a local guardian there for international students? Well, I think, uh, as you know, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, it actually impacts everyone. And, uh, uh, but however, I do believe that we are all in this together. So it's global pandemic. Um, it's, uh, you know, something that we have to get these things together and hopefully will be over sooner. So really this is uh, um, not something like particular in, in Australia, one thing I really want to say that uh, as Australian, that uh, uh, we are very proud of uh, uh, how the nation came together 
uh, that controls the COVID-19 outbreak in Australia. We probably uh, um, now one of the most uh, um, safe countries uh, at the moment in the world. And how quickly that uh, we uh, control this uh, outbreak uh, uh, in Australia. So even though we still have uh, uh, some new cases every day, but I think in general that we are uh, controlled very well. Um, the most important thing I think uh, here is uh, um, to keep the uh, social distance and uh, uh, also to keep safe. So safety is number one, uh, particularly for us uh, looking at safety of our students and the safety of our staff. Um, and also because we have lots of courses that uh, uh, have the practical element and uh, then the students, uh, we have to reschedule some of the uh, classes um, involve the practices in the laboratory or at work inside or the work placement site uh, to ensure that uh, students are uh, um, you know, not to be uh, 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 impacted uh, due to this uh, or try to minimize any possibility of uh, any of the transformation uh, between the students. Um, so we have putting lots of uh, uh, measure in place, including the you know hand uh, uh, washing and uh, also uh, as a notice to the students. And even during the uh, the lockdown period of time, that we have been contacting international students one by one, and also uh, we providing the um, daily support and also the mental health support, counseling support, and with the uh, support from the Victoria government as well, we open up and still open actually, the International Students Emergency Relief Fund. It's pay up to 1100, so it's 1100 to the eligible international students. And I have been assessing and uh, approving those applications every day, and I do uh, see there's uh, some uh, student from Nepal that are currently starting with us and applied and I have approved those as well. So uh, as you know that uh, lots of those uh, uh, things have been happening and uh, uh, but we only have one wish which wish our international students to keep safe and to still enjoy their study and their life in Australia. Okay, especially um, student and parents, those who are looking this, so they are quite happy that you are representing their uh, local college and, and uh, student are chef and uh, the um, uh, the um, uh, tools and technique um, uh, Boxel is applying in uh, it will be like very good uh, for uh, national and inter international student as well in there. there. So let's uh, talk about the uh, specific Nepali student community there because um, uh, Nepali student are really hard worker and they are doing very uh, well there um, uh, because um, uh, in different my visit I'm directly talking with Nepali student and they are quite um, uh, happy with the services and quality of education at Box Hill. So uh, what, uh, how you are like uh, connecting with Nepali student there and how they are like uh, getting help from um, BHI? Yeah, well, uh, as you uh, have seen our facilities and also talked to some of our colleagues before as well, I think, uh, and also I, I just want to re-emphasize uh, um, that our strategic theme is uh, student at heart. So, um, having the students uh, uh, you know, in our uh, nice warm heart, um, mm -hmm. that's the number one, and that's the foundation, that's the principle for us that, are, uh, that as an institution to support any students. And uh, of course, that, uh, as you know, we have a um, reasonable number of uh, students come from Nepal. So with the Nepali students as well, I think um, uh, you, you are right to point out, so, you know, uh, they are work, very hardworking students, and also I found that they are very connected as well. Mm -hmm. So with the students themselves, they connect with each other, and uh, we often appreciate the support and uh, the sharing that uh, come from the Nepali students too. So uh, it, as, uh, the, as I outlined before, that uh, we have been contacting or have a regular contacting 
communication with uh, uh, our uh, international students, with our Nepalese students, uh, um, that uh, ensure that they uh, are, are safe and they are healthy, and also they are coping with their study uh, in the programs as well. So uh, the all communities in Victoria that have been supporting international students, our government has been supporting international students, and then our institute, of course, has been supporting our students. And all our staff members have been aware of that they uh, should support international students too. So if uh, uh, taking Nepalese students as a, as a group, that I think they, um, so far, I haven't received any uh, uh, complaints about our services. Uh, and however, I do receive uh, lots of uh, thank you emails uh, mm -hmm. from students that appreciate the support and communication uh, we have uh, 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 from those uh, students. So again, as you know, in Melbourne, we have a very strong uh, Nepali community here as well. So I think they have been supporting each other too, as I said, uh, and as, as you all know, Melbourne is a, and Victoria is a multicultural uh, state, uh, representing the multicultural state, uh, you know, culture in Australia. So uh, everyone has been supporting each other during this particular time. Okay, so uh, especially uh, this is the really pandemic time and uh, um, uh, we have to uh, precaution and uh, go ahead. For this, how Box Hill Institute is going to nature its uh, future plan? So is there any that sort of the concrete uh, future plan that uh, we are going to piloting our project on that, this way and that way? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, as this day, we do have plan, but uh, probably it's a kind of not long-term plan. As you know, uh, nowadays, the only thing don't change is changes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, it change every day and it change every week. Um, mm -hmm. So you can't have a really uh, saying a long term plan, but we do have a long term goal, which uh, again and the goal never change is to ensure that we will uh, uh, provide a good uh, student experience to all our students. So uh, with that, I think. Uh, you know, um, we, for particularly for uh, next semester, if that's lots of students may be interesting, uh, interested, and that some of the parents may be interested to know as well. So to ensure that we keep uh, students safe and also to keep uh, the, uh, minimize the possible spread um, of the uh, COVID-19, um, we decided to have all the programs uh, in the, remote learning mode. So that, what that says is that all our theory classes still be remotely, virtually delivered. Mm -hmm. Any practical elements, including some of the work placement, uh, placements as well, that will be at the site. But okay. uh, we will ensure the social distancing rules are all in place we will ensure the every classes on laboratories and uh, all that to be assessed by the our uh, uh, you know uh, health and safety uh, well-being uh, colleagues as well and to ensure the standards there and to ensure the quality of the delivery still remain high so that's probably it's our our principal uh, guidelines in terms of uh, going through the second semester. So it's a, more a, like a branded learning and branded delivering with combination of uh, uh, the remote delivery plus the practical or practices on site. Okay, so uh, for the focusing on the right offshore market, uh, how you like a uh, guide to the agents and students to go ahead for uh, for the moment because it's really you have already said that we cannot like make that sort of the long term plan because scenario change and we have to like follow the scenario that way so what is your guidelines to the onshore and offshore agents well i think um you know the the first thing to consider and to watch is because our uh, border is still closed 
So that says that only Australians or the permanent residents of Australia can come to Australia at this stage. Um, so uh, I will refer to two group of students particularly. So one group of students who are already in Australia, and uh, I would say they keep calm, keep alerted, and keep safe, and continuing um, with your study uh, as the all institutions like Fox Hill Institute that we have put in place. Uh, as a government funded education provider, uh, that uh, we will assure you that we are in all the, we are, all of us are in this together. And uh, we will assure you the quality of the education you're receiving still uh, stands high. And also we will assure you that uh, we will keep uh, uh, your experience in Australia at the best level as we can as well. So for students who in Australia, no matter whether you are studying at the Boxer Institute or not, my advice to you is following the advice from your institute and following the government requirements and keep safe, keep studying, keep happy. Okay. So for, for the students who are in Nepal and who unfortunately cannot reach Australia at this stage. Um, again, my message will be uh, communicating with the Institute, like us at Box Hill Institute. We have been communicating with all the students who have accepted our offer, but are not in Australia yet. So say for example, the accepted students who are in Nepal, that we are in communication with you. If you haven't received any communication, please do contact us as well with the information that you have on your off letter. And then we are organizing like remote learning for you. We also have a, uh, developed a couple of uh, programs that can be fully online for you to access as well. So uh, then you can study uh, or you can commence in your study while you are in the country uh, at home or in your current study destination. And then you can transfer to Australia with the full credits uh, with what you have studied and we have arranged. So in that way, um, that you will not miss out your plan. You still can continue your study plan as what you have done before as well. Um, but uh, on the positive side is that you actually can be with the family where you are studying and are saving a lot of the, the cost or expenses otherwise if you were in Australia. So financial wise, I, I know that the pandemic also impacted everyone financially too. But from that perspective, I think the positive uh, uh, thing uh, from all the currently uh, happening, not in our favor. So you can save some uh, money where you are studying and your academic progress still there for you as well. So for our agent friends, I would say that uh, you know, keep connected with us and keep connected with the students as well. And to ensure again that you uh, uh, are in safe hands and ensure that you keep our students um, motivated for learning and keep them motivated for them to achieve their career goals and the future as well. Uh, we are uh, more than ever open for communication and for any discussions or any plans or working out any solutions for our prospective students. So I do encourage that uh, we keep connected uh, what, during this pandemic and keep communicating, keep working together uh, for future when things uh, move forward to a new formality. Okay, so you have shared very useful and informative messages through this program. And finally, and we are at the end of the uh, uh, interview session. So how you like uh, uh, pass your message to the agent, student and all Nepali community to be stay in this pandemic time? Well, I think uh, in general, my message to all our friends and our, all our, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, friends and, and uh, um, you know, agents and students, their parents and their loved ones in Nepal, uh, that uh, uh, we are all in this together. Uh, we are going through this special journey in our life together. It's, you are not individual, 
uh, we are a group. So uh, the whole group is uh, with you. And uh, uh, Box Hill Institute, of course, as an education provider, we are here to support any of our existing students, our prospective students, and our networks and our friends in Nepal. So uh, really that I want to say is to everyone, keep safe and keep sen uh, to be sensible. And uh, we are looking forward to see you either in your beautiful country or in a beautiful country in Australia. So thank you very much for the time. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to welcome again uh, uh, our new students or our students who are still in Nepal. Uh, so I'm here waiting for you in Melbourne at Box Hill Institute. Okay, thank you so much for your quality time and thoughts. So time and again, we like uh, connecting with you and like um, uh, uh, spreading this message to the, our community. Thank you so much, John. Anytime, Sunil. Thank you very much. Educast, telecasting global opportunities.